in the same hoodie, snoody. Because it's quite cold. <sighs> it's 22nd of February. It is Wednesday. I've been down my mum's. I've had somebody come and collect some Oleo stuff off me. I've got three other people come in. I've got a delivery come in of something to show you guys I'm really excited about because it's something that I wouldn't generally get for myself because I don't buy a lot for myself. I buy a lot of stuff as in gadgets for the house and to benefit other people, but I don't buy stuff for me. So I've got something coming. I've got a couple of things coming actually to show you guys. So they'll, they'll be coming up. So I'm waiting for that to come. Um, I need to go to Hobbycraft and I might go to Costco because it's right nearby. But whoa, 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 Costco's got a KitchenAid mixer that I want. And it's grey, so it'll match my kitchen. <gasps> it's, oh, I don't know if I can do it or not. You'll see by the end of this video if I did it or not. Anyway, got no makeup on yet. I'm looking a bit uh, worse way. But while I'm sitting here contemplating life, the kids are, it's, 20, it's 25 past 10, the kids are still in bed, so pancakes still haven't evolved in this house. Um, however, I've got some cream in the fridge that um, needs using. If I don't use it today, I don't think I can use it. So I'm going to go and chuck all this cream in my mixer and set it going. And let's see if we end up with butter. And if we end up then with butter, I might make um, a batch of scones. Mum loves scones. Warren likes scones. I like scones. The kids love scones. We all like scones. Might do that. Um, I don't think I've got any ice in the freezer. Because what you're supposed to do is you churn your butter... No, you don't. You churn your milk. You don't churn your milk. Come on, think, Karen. You churn your cream in your mixer. You can do it with a hand whisk, but I'll stick it in my um, stand mixer. So you churn your cream, and then you end up with it separating, and you get your buttermilk, and then you get your slab of butter. And then you're supposed to put your... Um, butter into ice cold water and wash it because you get whatever on it you've got to wash it off when you see people doing it the bowl of water looks like murky but what i'll do is i'll just get run the tap so it's freezing freezing cold and do it that way and then the buttermilk i get off if there's, if there's enough of it i will make um scones with that and then the butter, you can freeze butter. So I think I might freeze that. And I can just defrost it and cook with it. She says, I've never made butter before. Ever. So we shall see what it turns out like. Um, what else is happening today? Oh, and the gammon I showed you that I picked up from Olio. Do you remember I got a really small slow cooker from Bingo? I gave one to Craig and Michael and I kept the other one. So, because the gammon is not the biggest bit, I'm going to open up the new little mini slow cooker and I'm going to stick it in there. I'm just going to check out TikTok before I put it in there because I was going to cook it in Diet Coke, which sounds disgusting and some of you will be like, in Diet Coke? But that was a Slimming World... Um, recipe I got way back when is Diet Coke gammon. Basically, you put your gammon in your slow cooker and you smother it in Diet Coke, turn it on, leave it, and Bob's your uncle, you've got nice cooked gammon. So I know you're going to think, Diet Coke, are you having a laugh, love? Diet Coke? Yes, I'm not having a laugh. Try it. However, I have got honey and I've got mustard in and I've got stuff like that. So I'm going to have a quick look on TikTok about slow cooker gammon and see if somebody's doing something other than Diet Coke. And if I've got the ingredients, I might do that. Because I like gammon. I do like gammon. The kids are more in love gammon. I like gammon. But now and again, you get a bit and it's really salty in it. But this is Tesco Finest, I'll have you know. 
So hopefully it'll taste nice. Uh, but yeah. So shall we go and do this butter? Shall we? Come on in. Come on then, let's go and do it. Right, here's my mixer. Do you know what the annoying thing about this mixer is? It's got little sucker feet on it and when it's in the corner, it's completely stuck down. So I'm gonna have to put you down because I need two hands to release it to bring it forward. Right, we're gonna do some cooking here. I've got all of my dishes there. Um, I could do with a better angle on here, but you know, right. Let's get, let me get that. So I always put that on and then lead it off. Right, I'm gonna use three double creams. They're just bog standard double creams, nothing fancy. Oh, double cream is lovely. I was going to do a cheesecake, but that's going to hold fire for now. We're going to make butter instead. Or well, we're going to attempt to make butter. Actually, I'll keep one of these and just use two because it's got a good date on it. And I think two of them will make a nice piece of butter. Right. Let's get this on. Which way are you going? This way. So here we have the cream in the whisker. And I'm just going to turn it on. I'm going to have it on quite a low speed. Dump it on three. So I don't want to whisk the light out of it. Right, we're going to leave that go, and we shall come back in, um, well, I'll check in about five minutes, because I do believe it'll take a while. Let's get this butter rolling. So, the butter is churning, or well, the cream is churning. Does it churn, or is it only churned when it's butter? Who knows? But the cream's doing its thing. I'm just gonna have one of these, 99 calories. I haven't had breakfast. It's 11 o'clock, just gone. So I'm just gonna have that until lunchtime, which at the moment, I don't know what it's gonna be. So yeah, that for now, and we'll catch up with you in about five minutes and we'll check out the cream. Right, this has been on now for about 15 minutes. Not getting very fast. I'm going to turn the speed up. Right, number six now. So I'll leave that for a bit now. See, come back in a bit. This is going to be the most random video today of snippets of all bits and pieces, but maybe that's what you like. Anyway, slow cooker. I've got a slow cooker. Who needs two slow cookers? Not me. But this slow cooker was free. I won it at bingo. It actually probably cost me about 90 quid for the time I'd bought all my tickets and put money in the machine. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it was um, a freebie at bingo. So, I'm gonna open it now. I won this a couple of months ago. I'm gonna open it now because it's a nice little diddly one and I'm going to put my gammon in here with some cinnamon, some black pepper and some diet cook. Yes, I'm doing the diet cook one. And then when it's cooked, 
you then put some clear honey on it and I'm just gonna stick it in the air fryer to finish it off. So we're gonna have shredded gammon tonight. I'm not sure what we're having it with yet, but we're having shredded gammon. Well guys, we're getting butters, nearly done I'd say. We're turned it down again. I'm gonna turn it back up because I sprayed the sides down. Went to answer the door, didn't I? Went to answer the door. Look what's happened. Well, flipping heck. Look at that. We do have butter though, and buttermilk, but we've got some wasted. Now it's operation cleanup time. For God's sake, the doorbell went, so off I went and, uh, oh. Right, so there is all the butter. And there is the buttermilk. So I'm going to get it into a bowl now and give it a wash. Right. Operation cleanup is done. Can you see how cute that slow cooker is? It's titchy. I think the gammon will just about fit in there. Anyway, current situation is this. And right down here, you can't see. But I'm just going to weigh out the um, the buttermilk. So put it onto. Um, hang on, let me move you a bit. Zero that down. Let's hope I actually get it in. Hang on, scale's playing up now. Get on there now. Zero. Right. Do these need a new battery or what? They're messing me about. Right, zero. Hundred and fifty nine mils of buttermilk. Karen, where did you put the lid? Freak's sake, where's that gone? There it is, honestly. Memory like a sieve. This is like a cereal bowl milk thing that you put fruit and that in and then that on top. However, I'm gonna use that, 159 ml. I'll stick that in the fridge. For later. Right, I have been running the cold the cold tap, so we're gonna run that now a bit. And just get all this butter out of the that's complete. All the butter is um, stuck in the whisk. If you were doing this the proper way, you would have ice water ready. But I'm just going to wash it in, a, in cold water that I'm running at the minute. We haven't had our lunch yet, so I could actually put some of this on the kids' sandwiches, see if they like it. Right. It's hard work getting it out of here. Stuck. I think that's cold enough for a minute. Let me stop doing that. Do you know, I do want a KitchenAid mixer, but I can't justify it, you know. This this mixer's done a perfectly good job of doing butter. It makes really good cakes. Um, I feel a bit 
um i feel a bit like um i'm being mean getting rid of a you know a bit more buttermilk coming out of this when i'm squeezing it but i won't bother saving that Thanks, Lumber Butter. Right, cold water, where are you? just going to reposition you I'm going to wash my hands because they're greasy and then I'm going to reposition you so you can see what I'm actually um, doing let me just run that cold again it's, it's, it's. Right, that water is freezing, so... Fill. Fill it up for there. Let me just lower you down. Right, as you can see, this water is clear. There's a couple of little tiddly, tiddly bits of butter in there. And you can see, like, the residue of the buttermilk on there. So all you've got to do is basically wash, wash it, give it a bath basically, that's what you're doing, you're just washing off the, um, getting rid of the excess, any excess buttermilk that's in there, I think, I think that's the aim of the game anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong, any butter makers. What a good way of using up um, cream. That cream was left over from an Oleo collection I did. Somebody picked up four. Somebody picked up another one. And I think I was left with three. So I've made butter with two. And then I've kept one, one back to make a cheesecake. Right, can you see... The water is slightly murky, so let's give it another wash. Just need to keep doing this until the water's clear. Got that with over my tap. My God, that water's cold. My fingers. Like kneading dough. But this hasn't taken long at all because there's no buttermilk left on here. Oh, it's like pat patting a baby's butt. I haven't got the posh um, butter paddles where you where you shape it. I'll just do it by hand. Give her a final, a final rinse. Right, that water is clear now, so let me just put that there. Move her out of the way while I wash my hands. Oh my gosh. Hot water needed. Right. Let me get now a bit of 
uh, grease proof. That's what we need, a bit of grease proof paper. And there we have our batter, a block of batter. And I'm just going to stick it into a grease proof. And stick it in the fridge. I don't think it lasts very long, to be honest. I'd have to Google that, but I'm going to hopefully use it. But look at that! impressed guys I'm impressed with that I gotta say I've outdone myself there no but on a serious note that's really good isn't it especially with the price of butter these days a block of butter you can't get a block of butter than cheaper than 1.99 and that's if you're lucky but yeah I'm gonna stick that in the fridge now and calorie counting wise for this all I would do is just standard butter but you can add salt to that. If you want to add like coarse salt to it, make it salted, anything. Yeah, I'm impressed. Now I'm gonna wash up these bowls and I'm gonna get this little dinky baby slow cooker on the go with the gammon. I think it'll just fit in, it's just the right size. However, that slow cooker is ideal for making puddings. And what does a bit of Casa like? She likes a bit of pudding. So we might do some of them. But yeah, butter. Get that cream and start making butter. Like if you see cream reduced in the shops or Oleo guys, if anyone's giving away cream, I do often get cream in my collections to give away. So yeah, pop that in the fridge and I'll catch up with you in two secs. I just need to get Diet Coke, some cinnamon and some pepper. Right guys, here is the little Diddy Slow Cooker. I've put the gammon in there. I've cut all the fat off around the edges. So all I am going to do in here is put a little bit of pepper in there. And I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon in there. Not a lot. And then Diet Coke, I'm using this one. It's not the real McCoy, but it's, uh, it's Coke anyway. You don't want to add any salt because gammon is very salty. Is that fully covered? Think so. Just a smidgey more. Right to the top. Right. Put the lid on. Trust the process, guys. Trust the process. It looks grim, I know. I put it on low and I'm going to leave that. What time is it now? It is, I don't know. Alexa, what time is it? It's 12.13 p.m. Anybody that was deaf, I'm sure you would have heard that. Um, it's bubbling away there, not because it's cooking, because the old gas in the, in the coke. Let's give it a quick, um, the cinnamon and that's come to the top. Right. I don't count calories for my Diet Coke. And all this Diet Coke doesn't get absorbed. Some of it will go, go down. Um, and oh, leaning on the knobs, but for the amount of cinnamon in that I've put in, the only thing I'm counting so far in this gammon is the gammon. But when it's finished and I then put it in honey and put it in the air fryer, I will then weigh the gammon and stick um, the calories in the Nutri Check and stick the honey on as well. So, yeah, that is our potential dinner on at the moment and uh, I'll catch up with you for lunch which will be pretty soon so catch you in the next clip guys right this is what I'm having for my lunch 
No, it's not the contents of my dustbin. Although it, does, it doesn't actually look very appetizing. It smells quite nice. It is this. I've been on the phone to my sister, so I've been screwing this up because it was in my hand. It's a Jim Kitchen Thai Green Curry. It's 355 calories. And it's got all protein and um, all the good bits in it. Carrots and all sorts. So, yeah, that is what I'm having. So, 355 calories for that. And then I have got an Aldi's version of the Tannox biscuits, which are my absolute favourite biscuits ever. So, that is my lunch. They're 135 calories, they are. So, that is what I'm having for my lunch. Well, I'm just eating my, uh, my chicken curry. Oh. And I've had a knock at the door. I've got a rather large box. Do you want to know what's in this box, guys? Oh, it's heavy. You will find out in due course. So stick around. And if you're not subscribed already, get subscribing. It's free. And you can help me build my channel. Because I do notice there's quite a lot of you that watch me that aren't subscribed. I don't know why. Whether... You're just like a cheeky watch, but you think I'm not worth a subscribe. I don't know. Or whether you're on the telly and you don't know how to do it or what. But I would love you to subscribe. I'd love my channel to grow more this year. But if you want to know what's in that box, stick around. You won't find out today, guys. But in the next couple of days, I will be revealing what is in that box. And let me tell you, it's going to be worth the wait. Because I'm really excited. Because it's something... I wouldn't generally buy myself because I'm always buying for others, like my three children and other people. But yeah, I'm really excited to open this box for you guys. Right, I'm going to get back to my curry. Right, we're now off to the shops. Bought the wheelchair with us today. We're going to wheel my mother around so we don't lose her, aren't we? <laughs> hmm? Because sometimes we go one way, she goes another, and then we don't know where she is. So if we put you in your wheelchair, well, it's my wheelchair actually, but we use it for grandma. And when I say it's my wheelchair, it's not my wheelchair as in I use it. And I'll tell you why I don't use it. Warren would push me around in that when we go for days out. But my my ass is too wide for it at the minute. I can't fit in it. But hopefully, by the time I go to have my knees done in hospital, Warren will be able to bring me home in it. Because five stone loss, by the time I have my knees done, I should fit in the wheelchair. It was just a standard one that we bought in Argos. It wasn't like a specially made one. But mum fits in it. Oh, slimline mum, although you're not too slimline these days with all the pastries you've been eating here. You've been eating too many goodies. Um, isn't it funny what a bit of makeup does to you? The difference someone looks when they've got a bit of makeup on. I made some butter this morning, mum. Oh, I thought it was quite difficult to do. Oh no, Kaza made the butter. Would you like some? Don't you want something to put on your toast? Proper butter now, not not cheap spread from the supermarket. Yeah. Well, I don't really bother. You don't bother with butter. Yeah. All right then, more for me. And I got buttermilk and that. I bet you'd like some scones though if I make them, would you? <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. Thought you might. I was quite impressed. My um, my mixer, I went to answer the door and my mixer was on a fast speed and it suddenly separated into buttermilk and butter and all my buttermilk decided to, to chuck itself out of the mixer bowl. So I had milk, buttermilk everywhere. Costco or are you just coming for a, a visit out? Bananas. 
bananas in Costco. Yeah, mm, I don't know whether they'll be like a truckload. You can't just buy a couple in there. Oh, I see. I got bananas in the house. No, don't worry, don't worry about that. I'm going to stop at a shop. They've got homework to do, so we need to get some stuff so they can do their homework. Jackson's got to make a like a bomb shelter. Dexter's got to do, is it a poster? A poster. Or a landmark? A poster about a, per, a famous person in Wales or um, a landmark or you can just take a picture and the most interesting picture wins. The most interesting picture wins? Yeah, but then... You could just take a picture of me then. No, because... Um, Why? Because it's like... Um, because it's like, there's two separate things. Jackson's got to do this too. I'm pulling your leg, son. Jackson's got to do this too. Have they? Yeah. Well, I thought you were doing Gareth Bale. I was, but then... He was? You changed your mind? I don't know. You don't know what to think? Gareth Bale's a bit like a common one. Well, they'll all be doing Gareth Bale. Probably. What about Penavan? That big um, mountain thing. I would have offered to take you up there, but I can't walk up to Grandma's, let alone walk up a mountain. Wait, you have to walk. You can't drive. No, I don't think. I think you can get a car up there somehow, but you can't drive up to Penavan. No, it's um, it's a big long walk that people go on, which I've never done, and I don't think I ever will. Even when I get my knees done, I don't think I would want to walk up Penavan. Is it like a trail? Yeah, it's like a big path you follow. Could you go on there? Go on YouTube when we get home and you'll see it. I've got an idea how to cheat. How to cheat? Yeah. Cheat on what? The picture. Oh, oh you can't cheat doing your homework. Okay. Go behind the green screen. Green screen? Oh, so that's not going to work. Mm -hmm. oh. what, about doing, what about doing um one about the tap? Yeah, you could do. You could type up some things on um on the computer on the on the word thing and cut them out, take print pictures off. You could talk about when it flooded. Not that long 19th ago. 19th of March, Mother's Day. Yes, 19th of March. Offering, they're offering um, special discount on meals there, are they? Oh, I didn't, I didn't look at that bit. I just looked at the date when Mother's Day was. Oh, no, no, will no doubt they're um, sure you what they would what you could have. I'll cook you a nice a nice meal for Mother's Day. You can come down instead of paying silly prices oh. to go out. <laughs> Bless you. See this annoys me here. They don't move over so you can't get out. Mackenzie just informed me that um Football's on tonight. I'd have gone a bingo if I'd known. I'm gonna sit through the screens. Nah. I'll do something else. I just can't bear it when they score and they're all like. <laughs> I tried to 
ticket um, Jackson to come out with us and he didn't want to know he's I said to him does he not like crowds and things I think he's a bit um, he doesn't like people if you know what I mean it's too peoply out here for him <laughs> and I said to him if, you, if you've got a problem you don't like being around people and he's like no I just don't want to go out so he's um, he's not come out thought is I've lived longer than I'm gonna live because I ain't gonna make 100 Mom. what um, age is only a number age is only a number I think facially I look younger than I am I think bodily bodily I'm knackered I'm about you're, you're more mobile than me, Mum, and you're 80. Mum. One nearly. Take nine years off your life, and I think that's You've got a bad leg. You've got a bad leg. I've got, I'm the one with a bad leg, not you. Mum, take, right. take, take nine years off um, your age, and then... Um, I'd be 40. Yeah. I'd be 39, actually, because I'm not 49 yeah. yet. I always remember when I was younger, I think I was 16, and I had fake ID for, I think, a 22-year-old, and I always used to get away with it. Then the days when I used to tell you I was going where I wasn't going. Oh, I'm just over so-and-so's house tonight. I'll stay yeah, there the night, we're yeah. Just going to, we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to so-and-so's house. James. We're just going Someone's here, we're just going there. there. And she's like, all right then, you should go, go in there. Pick, yes, I'm go going there. Pick you up and you're not there. And we're no. partying away in the pubs. Oh, it's a long time ago now, Mum. And I, I left to tell the tale. I wonder what John Mitchell's doing. Who's he? Oh, 
my sister's old boyfriend. I know who you mean. I don't know, he's probably married with children and living his life. At least she never at least she never ended up with that um that geezer. Do you remember him? Geezer? The geezer, that boy. He was a naughty boy, wasn't he? What, the one that was in prison there? <laughs> yeah, and the one that you could get what was what was it you could get off him? Fifty quid's worth of tenors for a fiver or something like that. <laughs> I never got them mind. He was um, he was a naughty boy. He was a naughty boy. And then, do you remember when it was her 18th party and we had a party in the garage and there was a boy turned up. He was really nice, I can't remember his name. And he's he said, he used to call you old girl or something, didn't he? He'd be like, a right Londoner, and he'd, he'd be like, you all right, old girl? Do you remember him? Oh, them are the days. I was a bit of a naughty girl. You're not going to be a naughty boy, are you, Dexter? You're not going to go out and drink and stuff when you're older, are you? That's what you told me the other day. You never know. I think you might be a cheeky chappy when you're older. You'll be trying to try and be a smooth one with the ladies. You'll make a good husband to somebody one day. That's what grandma used to say. Daddy's mum, grandma you never met, she used to always say to me. Ah, oh, Warren, will, he'll make a good husband, he will. You won't go wrong with our Warren. That's what she used to tell me. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> she was right. Me and Warren's mother used to clash a bit at the start, before we had kids, and we were a bit, mm, it was like, Mm, you know what, what it can be like with a mother-in-law and then as time went on you know we got on better and then we had a massive argument one time god it must be about 20 25 years ago now we had a massive argument and we used to always take her flowers and we had a flower in a pot and she chucked us out because I threw her I I crashed our car in <laughs> Behave. I crashed our car and it was in a body shop being fixed. And it was when we had our boxer dogs, Harry, and there was an argument over the dog or something like that. Anyway, she chucked us out. <laughs> and she come out like this with the plant and she slammed it down on the wall and she went and you can take that with you so as she turned around and walked away I thought right yeah bitch I picked up the flower pot and I launched it and it went dunk on her head and ricocheted off and she went in and it was about six months then that we didn't talk because Warren love him stuck up for me over his his poor mum and said don't you speak to her like that she's going to be my wife and brrr, so you can tell how long ago it was um <laughs> and um after that after like the six months of nobody talking and in the end warren gave in and rung his mum because obviously his mum and we all got talking again and then we had Mackenzie, and we were just like best friends I think I ended up talking to her more than I talked to you because every night we'd ring each other and stuff we got on really well it was just a blip at the start she loved me in the end they all love me in the end you know I know she was really nice and it was sad when she passed away she was only 60 I think she was 67 she's no age is it she only got to meet Mackenzie and she absolutely loved Mackenzie. Spent the first Christmas.
Christmas up there and I remember when she came to visit and she couldn't wait to get her hands on him. feet done we're going to um yeah, and you said it's only for your feet it's not have you read that that uh, voucher? oh the coupon the voucher it's for um, shoes as well well other things it's not purely just i might get a pair of shoes on them there they do shoes for um people with A dog missing poster. Oh well, I might get a pair of shoes tomorrow. This is not the big Asda, is it? It's a big Asda. Don't tell me you want to go in there. What do you want in Asda? Huh? Hoover. Oh, that Hoover. right by the door there's someone all whizzing i know that's cars blocking it what's coming that way nothing nothing new thing well if mum doesn't want do you want to look in hobby craft or not because I could get him, I could take him in there to get his craft things and then yeah, come back. Well, yeah, alright. So do you want to wait here when I go in hobby craft? Yeah. There's nothing you want in there, is there? No. Kids right. deal, look, craft, craft. Make your own 
Oh, it's only special. Right, I'll go in there and grab the bits for their homework and then we'll go over to Costco, right? Mm -hmm. from a cake huh. in Hobby Craft. So we're back in the car from Costco. I didn't film going around in there because I'm trying to push me mother and whatnot. Dexter's having a feast in the back. Picked up these. They are Madeleines. Just worked out the calories on them. They're 156 calories, which is quite a lot. Although it's quite thick. My mother's just chomping down on one. And uh, Dexter's just had one. And they're nice, Dexter. They're nice, Mum. Don't, don't go and choke on it now, because I haven't got any drinks in here. You'll have to just um, quietly choke. No. Well, it should start choking. See, they're quite, they are quite big, I suppose. There was a tray of them for five pounds something, and because they were individually wrapped, I thought, you know, portion control. Mm, they are nice, aren't they? Mm. I'll show you when I get home what I picked up. Mm, you can see some biscuits there, some crisps. You're thirsty, are you? Yeah. Do you want a coffee, Mum? Starbucks behind us. Mm. 
I don't mind drinking co coffee in the car because it, it jolts sort of. Well, we can sit outside and drink it. Yeah. Why do you want to drink? I'm not, I'm not bothered. Anyway, they're nice. Right, back from Costco. Show you what we got. Show you what we got in Hobby Craft first. This was to do with the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen. The kids. Kitchen. Um, glue gun. Whenever we buy glue, it never sticks the stuff down. Prick sticks and that um, are fine for paper. I did, I did buy one of them. But whenever there's material things or bits of card or that, we can never get them to stick. And it was only seven, I think it was seven pound. So we got a glue gun. So that's one thing. And then we picked up the wrong glue sticks because the lady, um, kindly said to us, we've well, got the wrong um, the wrong glue sticks there. you got one for the cool gun. And I was like, a cool gun? Is there such a thing? Apparently you can get a glue gun that's not hot. It's cold. But apparently they were a lot more expensive. So it came with, comes with two sticks and I just got a 12 pack of sticks. Because no doubt Dexter will be gluing everything down. Um, these were reduced, so I let them, let the two little ones, Dexter picked one up for Jackson. I think these were two pound. Um, they're just those, I, I remember doing these as a kid. They're just the foil, you scrape them, don't you? And it reveals a picture. So I thought it was something for them to do in half term, which is halfway through already. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Got a piece of card for Dexter to do his poster, and it's got screwed up in the car. I'm just trying to straighten that out now. How the hell's that got all screwed up? I'll roll it. No doubt it'll be in worse shape by the time he's finished. But we just got one piece of card for Dexter. Do his poster on, and then Jackson has got to make like a bomb shelter type thing, like this that sort of thing he wants to make or got to make. So I just picked up some like random leaves, some shredded paper, pretty stick. And I just picked up these. These ranged from like 50p to a pound, I think they were. And they are just like um, foam pieces of stuff. Like the bomb shelter he needs to make, he wants to make it that shape. So I was thinking he could get some card, because I've got boxes here, cover it in some of that. And then if he bends, makes like a lip, on there and then stick it down to get the drift so i've got a piece of that i got a piece of that that could be like grass it's got like a big line in it but they all had that but no doubt he'll cut it to shape anyway so i've got that piece of grassy bit that holographic bit um that like felt Corrugated white bit, a brown textured bit, a textured bit, another green bit, a foam, a different coloured green bit, and two brown corrugated bits. Surely you can make some of all that and bits of card around the house. So that's everything from hobby craft I didn't actually get that much in um, Costco but what I did get 
was this a large tub of greek yogurt dexter was doing his usual every tasting station he was there can i try some of that can i try some of that well, anyway, he tried some of this and she was serving it with honey and the delight in his face. He was like, oh my God, that's lovely. And I love Greek yogurt. So I got that one. It's 10% fat, so it's not fat free. But if you can afford the calories, Greek yogurt with fat in it rather than zero fat is absolutely friggin' worth it. Calorie wise, it's 134 for 100 grams. But yeah, got one of them. It's got quite a long date on it. 31st of March. So I've got one of them. I picked up two of the shopping bags. They were at the till. They've got Costco written on them, which don't bother me. I thought they are good for me to take because sometimes when I do my Oleo collections, you've got to take your own bags. And I thought they were ideal because they're quite big. So I've got a pack of them. Dexter keeps going on and on and on. Can I have fortune cookies? Can I have some fortune cookies? Can I have some fortune cookies? But they had them there and they were quite cheap, so I let him have them. It's just a box of fortune cookies, so got them. Now, Dexter tried this, right? And it did look a bit, mm, but he said it was absolutely delicious. I've got to go and put these in the freezer somehow. Squeeze them in. Um, they are king prawn wontong soups, but the lady said to me, calorie wise, because she was going, oh, I do calorie counting. I was like, yeah, so do I. And um, she said they're only, yeah, I'm trying to look at the calorie. They're 100 and, um, where is it? 100 grams is 47 calories. So it's 260, um, yeah, 100 and, um, I'm trying to work. Yeah, 122 calories for a pot. I'll show you what they look like. And they've got like little dumpling things in them. I'll put a picture on screen because I videoed her when she took it out of the microwave. You get six pots. And that's what they're like. But for 122 calories, the stuff in there looked like water. But Dexter said it was really, really tasty. And then there's, I think there was five or six little dumplings in there. So I got them. I'm gonna keep one of them out because I might have it tomorrow. Warren sitting next to me. You could take them to work, could you? Heat them up in microwave. I don't know, I think microwave's an industrial one. I can never work out. They're really low calorie. And something then that's not as low calorie is this the big biscuit box it's just it's got 71 bars inside so you could go to town one night if you were feeling off plan or whatever couldn't you it just says each serving based on the yorkie biscuit is 126 calories but it's easy enough just to put them in the app and it'll tell you all the calories on them Oh, it ha actually has got every single calorie on the back of every single bar that's in there. I picked up some tender stem broccoli and we're having that tonight with our tea. I also got these sausages, that are 324 for two sausages. So it's quite a lot, but they are big sausages. We have had these before and they're really nice. So I thought we would have a sausage dinner. Not tonight, one night. This is the tray of the Madeleines that we were sampling in the car. 156 calories for one, but they're nice. And then the last thing I picked up in Costco was these. Crisps. They are lightly salted, um, mature cheddar and red onion and sea salt and balsamic vinegar. It's 12 bags of each, 25 grams. Doesn't tell you the calories on them, but I'll stick them on screen if I work them out. Probably tell you on the pack. You're looking at these, aren't you? Thinking, I'll have a bag of them, aren't you? Go on, admit it. Come on, Dexter. 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 Come
Come on, son. Admit it. Even though you're my husband. I'll call you son. You wouldn't say no. How many calories you got left then? Uh, For tea? Mm. Tea's going to be quite low, actually. This is gammon. What flavour? Balsamic. Balsamic. So balsamic. Um, how many calories are there? Fancy. In the glass. In the glasses. 100 grams is 513 and there's 25 in there. 128. Yeah, then. 128 they are. Yeah, 25 gram bags. Yeah, 128. Is that what it says on the app? Yeah. Do you want a packet? What's it worth? Please. Huh? What's the packet Chris worth? 200 pounds. Oh, behave. <laughs> That's not even funny. Uh, right. Um, That's my shopping haul. And no, I didn't get my mixer. I was going to get a mixer when I was there, but they didn't have any. Warren, you glad? Hmm? I was going to get KitchenAid mixer while I was there, but they didn't have any. Right. I'm off now to go and see what's going on with this gammon um, that's in my little mini slow cooker. I'll see whether it's done the job. Right. I'll catch you. Well, at dinner time, in a bit. I'm going to go and fight with the freezer now to get these wong tong soups in. My dinner tonight is 483 calories. That is how the gammon turned out. It's gone a bit hectic here, so I didn't have time to show you, but I literally just shredded it, put some honey on it, and stuck it in the air fryer just to brown off with the honey. I've got some chutney, potatoes, carrots, and tender stone broccoli, so I will stick a breakdown on the screen. I'm just snipping on really quick before. I edit this video. I forgot to show you this earlier. Picked up in Hobbycraft of all places. With, but I thought Hobbycraft was like crafty stuff as in paper, pipe cleaners, stuff like that. I didn't realise they had like a cooking section. Might go there more often, although they were dear. Like they're cooking baking trays, like a little muffin tray. And it was like £18, I was like... How much? Anyway, pick this up. It is a chocolate brownie mug baking mix. I just have to put my dodgy glasses on a minute to... Uh, read what it says. It says you will need one tablespoon, 15 grams of butter or oil or plant-based spread, two tablespoons of milk um, or water and a mug. Microwave a tablespoon of butter. Um, tip one pot into the mug. I'll put this. Add two teaspoons of milk, mix it, the microwave it for 60 seconds, allow it to cool for five minutes, eat straight from the mug. Mm. No Casa likes a bit of cake. It's 391 calories for 100 grams, and there's 55 in there. But don't forget, you've got to count your, your bit of butter and milk if you use it. I've got that. Let's stick that. Um, what's the date? Expiry date on that. Oh, that's in date until April. Not this year, next year. So yeah, I picked up that. I think it was £1.80. Um, I'm talking of cakes. I was very busy tonight, right? And then Olio come up on an alarm um, 
notification saying that someone had skipped their collection and would anybody be able to go and get the food so me being me while I was watching the football I had nothing else to do other than a bit of washing and that so I said to Dexter I said oh should we go and do it and he was like oh no and then he went all right then so we went and got that and um I listed all that then the app started playing up, so I couldn't list some stuff. So I gave a load of stuff away without putting it on. Um, so all I did was go on to the squad chat and say that I had a problem. And I shared it with people in the street and stuff, basically. It's just so they know you've given it away. Um, I had a massive thing of fresh flowers. And to be honest, th there was hardly anything wrong with them. They were like the big, massive, like ten pound bouquets. I didn't keep any flowers because my Valentine's flowers are still going. So I gave all them away. They went really quick. Um. But yeah. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Cakes. Yeah. At this point, before I started my Oleo for tonight, I had eight hundred and seventy-five calories left even after my dinner. Um, so when I was getting a bit stressed because there was so much food in my kitchen, I'd never seen so many frigging sandwiches in my past of life. All of my work top along one side and round the corner was just filled with wraps and sandwiches. Most of them went. I think I've got about 10 sandwiches that didn't go and I'm not allowed to give them away now. So I've put them in the fridge. If the kids want them tomorrow, they can have one. I won't eat them after that. Oh, and the dog did get a treat. He had a ham sandwich tonight. Um, but yes, so the point of the story is three por three porch three Portuguese a three yeah Portuguese tart three Portuguese tarts, and this. Chocolate twist ended up in my um, my mouth, and they were very nice too, Sandra. <laughs> they were very nice, and I ate them and then thought to myself, oh, you fat cow, why did you just eat all them? However, I've still got 96 calories left, so I haven't technically done anything wrong. I just ate crap but it was nice crap I freaking love them Portuguese tarts and I noticed they have changed calories on the app because they I have put them on the app they're on there I've counted them I've justified them they were 154 I think it was when I had one last time which was about two weeks ago they're 160 now so I don't know whether they've changed the recipe or whether they've just um, gone up a bit or something. But yeah, so I had three of them. Bloody delicious they were. And one of these chocolate twist things. But I'm still on with my cows and I'm in, I'm in them. But I'm not justifying that I ate them. I'm just telling you that's what I ate. And it was crap food, but, you know, my tea was nice and healthy and I had vegetables. Right, I'm going now because it's currently ten past one in the morning. And I'm going to edit this video and then go to bed. And I've got to get up early to take my mum to um, Cardiff tomorrow. And then she wants to go to... A supermarket to get some bananas and things so i'll catch you tomorrow so thanks for watching guys and i will catch you on the next one bye